Hello guys, in this video I'll be talking about the moral and ethical issues surrounding patent trolls. In a, in a way is to, um, to think and analyze um, the actions of patent trolls and how they affect other peoples and how the utilitarian approach does not um, approve what they do. So let's see what we'll be analyzing. Um, we'll be looking at the exploitation. Um, that's the flaws and things, and that's how they use the law to um, protect themselves and to other companies. We'll also be looking on the impact that they have on innovation, as well as the economic um, consequences, the frivolous losses and costs, and the patent troll perspective. So let's, let's get ready to see. Um, in the exploitation, we realize that um, as they try to demand more companies to pay them for supposedly patent infringement, um, they make those companies that they sue um, more, I mean, less, less willing to innovate and create new things. So that makes, um, that creates low, low levels of innovation. Um, they also use the law to create harms, harm, and by creating this harm, they affect other companies. So these companies are usually small businesses and startups. So in reality, they are not affecting a big, big company that could have enough money to fight them. Because of that fact, they go for these um, small companies because they know these companies have this money to fight that. So they create um, this kind of um, a big issue for these with these companies creating more harm than good. That that goes against the utilitarian um, approach. So it is not how it should be and how the law uh, wants it to be. So let's see the negative um, economic consequences on the next slide. On this one, we have impact on innovation. So as I was saying previously, it impacts the innovation on companies because um, companies will, will not um, innovate that much if they know someone is gonna come at them to sue them or demand something. So they will be kind of scared and more reserved of, of doing something they know they could get in trouble doing. So by limiting these companies, they also limit the whole country's innovation because um, when we put this in a large scale, many of these companies may be thinking the same thing that um, um, Patent trolls are gonna come at them and sue them, so they may limit themselves. If it happens with one company, it may be okay, but if it happens with more than one company or nationwide, um, it could start to represent uh, an issue for the country. And addition, <clears throat> additionally, it also slows down the technological changes that um, innovations bring with, with, with it. On the next slide, we'll see 
the negative economic consequences. Um, we see that it reduces the amount of money that these companies could make because they have less money um, to, they have to spend more money to create things. And they also have to reserve some money to fight against um, these patent trolls in case they, they come at them. So basically it changes the company's expenses and the way um, expenses and the plan of expenditure in companies go. So by reducing um, the money the companies have for new investments or new job creation, they are reducing the, the economy of the country because if they create less job, that means um, there's gonna be less money out there. So when, when we're dealing with a small company or startup, um, they have a really limited um, money to fight these kind of things. So if they have super little money to fight that, they may even go to bankrupt, so it's gonna it's gonna affect the countries in a big way because if many of these companies go like that too, it's gonna represent less less revenue and less money for the country. Um, in a big picture, it's gonna it's gonna reduce significantly um, the amount of jobs on the market and. It's going to affect the economy. So in this slide, we'll be looking at the free values, lawsuits, costs that these patent trolls um, make companies spend. So they create a big expense for these companies, uh, as I was saying previously. So they try to get as, get as much money as they can because that's, that's the real intention for them. That's kind of the job, the nine to five kind of thing. So they want to affect other companies and take as much as they can. In doing so, they limiting these companies to seed and affecting other people too. So in reality, these companies do, do not want any any of these issues. So they are um, fighting things that they don't really want to fight. So in this slide, we'll have um, to we'll really um, go through the perspective from a patent troll. So they think that they're doing everything correctly and that the law backs them. But in reality, the law is for real cases of companies that really innovate. In this case, they don't really innovate, so they're using the law to, in a sense, that is it's not supposed to be used. So um, using the hotelerism approach, we see that this kind of patent trolls, this kind of behavior creates more harm than good and makes um, these companies kind of limited on the economic sense, also in the innovative side. So it creates, um, it harms more people than what it should. Um, and in a sense, that's completely um, against the utilitarianism approach that wants the, the greatest for the greatest number of people. So in reality, this is against of it completely. So to resolve this kind of issue, I will um I would like to to kind of um, reform the laws of patent. That way, they leave less way for these patent trolls. Thank you so much for watching.
and on the next slide, um, you will see the references and a special thanks to Love Express for the icons and images. As I said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this useful.